Hello there, good people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. Nuno here once again. Thank you for stopping by. So today, one day after the public release of 12.0.1 to the bug fixes for the iPhone 10 and 10s and 10s Max, sorry, uh, Apple released today, the 9th of October, the uh, iOS 12.1 Beta 3. Okay, so the majority of the bugs that were resolved yesterday to the public release are already okay uh, in this 12.1 but either way let's go ahead here to the general so let's go to about i like you know you i, I know you always like to see the build number and this build number is the 16b 5077c so it took about let me go here to the photos It took about, I took a screenshot, about 386 megabytes on this iPhone 8, okay? So uh, it is uh, quite quite an amount, well, uh, a medium, a medium num uh, amount. So uh, I was checking and, uh, you know, if there is any anything new and in fact I cannot see anything new. It seems quite fluid. I made a Geekbench on this, the results for this beta 3 on this iPhone 8 are these ones, okay, are uh, a little bit, well, it's, uh, if I go to history here, go to the CPU, this is the beta 2, okay, this is the beta 2, so the beta 2 had a slighter and higher result on the multi-core and on, on this one, you know, Oh, but keep in mind I just installed so perhaps it could, this could be almost the same but Geekbench it's Geekbench okay what what it's most important is the real world usage now let's launch here some let's see the speed tests here why not okay let's see uh, Wi-Fi the I think um, the 10s and the 10s max had a problem on switching between the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks i haven't had that problem with my uh, 10s that uh, if you didn't know i i returned that that phone okay so but no issues here everything is working pretty well let's launch here some apps to see how it runs let's try to make this quick very well this iphone 8 is working pretty pretty well I have it there on the background as you can see an iPad Air that I always like to show you also I made a video yesterday on iOS 12.1 how it performs you can go ahead and check or I'll leave in the cards in the in the final let's launch here Netflix to see how it goes if there is any problem as I was telling uh, I'll, I'll put on the final cards the videos for you to check so it opens pretty well let's see here Spotify so everything seems to be pretty well let's go here to see if there is anything new on the wallpapers I believe not okay so let's see the wallpapers here no nothing new for the iPhone 8 the live wallpapers the same nothing new I hope it is in frame guys sorry nothing new here on the dynamic also so everything seems to be perfect okay no lag whatsoever everything seems to be okay perfect so guys uh, of course in this release you have the 70 new emojis on all iPhones okay iPhone 8 iPhone 10 you know iPhone 6 7 iPads you have all the new 70 emojis if you like that kind I think you know uh, you are in luck so everything seems to work pretty well one of the things that I want to be tested but I need someone to call me through FaceTime uh, I have an issue regarding you know receiving FaceTime calls if I am in, in my network in my office with all these devices connected to my iCloud account sometimes you know the phone didn't rank but the, the 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 mac or the ipad they did okay in that call so i don't know what in fact um, happened and i hope it is fixed on this issue but i keep you updated on the follow-up video now on this iphone everything seems to work pretty well and for you guys that like to see older devices this is an ipad air first generation as i told you there will be a card on the end of the video if you want to check now uh, just let's see after 
installing the same build so iOS 12.1 beta 3 how it runs keep in mind I'm recording at 60 frames per second this is a five-year-old device so uh, just seeing and launching here some apps let's go to Safari for example let's see how much time it takes to render the pages keep in mind and a and device that was launched on 2013 okay guys so perfect for what, what it is or what, what I use okay so no issues here let's quit this see how much like it takes yeah a little bit okay keep, keep that in mind yeah it takes a little while to load the pages it seems to take more time than you know uh, on the final build of, of iOS um, 12 but well let's go ahead here see yeah. okay very well let's quit let's open YouTube let's go through some apps you know the build number is the same okay guys is the same as I, that I show you on the beginning on the iPhone 8 let's you go here to my videos my videos okay yeah, it's taking a long time to load yeah okay let, let me check here the final the iPad Air that I was telling you about this is this is oh. thank you for the support Ed. okay you can check this video on the end if you want it's a more detailed and we'll, we'll go through you know all the apps now guys this is a first view you know um, nothing you know doesn't seem to have much lag here but of course I will make a follow-up on these two devices and keep in mind that uh, perhaps this week I'll be I'll be having you know uh, buying uh, an iPhone 10 for the channel not the iPhone 10 s because I already had it and you can check my video why I returned it okay so guys for now this is all uh, stay safe and I hope to see you on the next one bye bye